Did you ever have a parent hold Exodus 20 verse 12 over your head and repeatedly throw it in your face? This is the fifth commandment and it says to honor your father and mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. This is um, an interesting commandment and on its face, understanding that for those parents who are in right relationship with both God and their children, this is very easy. It means obey, to give priority to, to be um, preferential toward your parents, honoring them, listening to them in matters of faith and life. They have experience. They have a lot of wisdom to pour into you. Don't rebel against them. There's a lot of things about how to respond to parents, especially those who are in right relationship with God. Paul underscores this again, by the way, in Galatians, or sorry, Ephesians 6, chapter 4. I want to address the specific element of this commandment, and that is when someone is abusive toward you, are you still supposed to honor them? To be clear, you do not have to put up with abuse. That is one element. You can remove yourself from abusive situations. But do we honor them? If you look at 1 Peter chapter 2, it is quite clear on how we are to treat people who God has placed in authority over us and especially when they mistreat us unrightly. If you are deserving of getting punished, if you're deserving of consequences, this isn't about you. But if you have a parent who abuses you without needing anything from you, um, if they do it emotionally, physically, verbally, whatever it is, they are wrong. But God still says to honor them. We, we love people the way God loves us. We respect them. But it doesn't say we have to allow them in our lives. You are allowed to set boundaries. You are allowed to take care of yourself and your children. That's where I set a boundary in my life is when my children became impacted by an abuser. But we love. We love. It's hard. But God didn't just say love those who love you and treat you well. God said love your enemies. Pray for them. And I do this with the person who has mistreated me the most in my life. I know it's hard, and I pray that you do it too. Something to think about today.